Hello, this is one more chapter of the Python Coding Dojo and today we have Nicholas to help me out with this guess game that we're gonna do today. So, okay, let's do it. So we're gonna start with our game here. So the first, and Nicholas is gonna help me. So, Nicholas, what is the first thing you're gonna do in our guess game? Guess a number from one to 10. One to 10, cool. But what is the first thing we have to do? Like, pick a number. Yeah, pick right? a number. So let's, let's pick a number. And for now, we just say a number. Right? Eight. Give me a number. Eight. Eight. Okay, we have to guess number eight at some point in our program, right? Cool. So as you can see here, this is a little variable. And a variable is just like a little box you put things on in and uh, you just use the whatever is in this box uh, in the future right okay so we have one number so what's the next thing we have to do type in the code to make the guess well to yeah that's that's right but think about this um, we have to do what is the next step to do that so we we, we, cho we, we have chosen a number right now we have to guess what this number is, right? So we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing with the variable, but I let's call it guessed. And this is another variable that I'm gonna put the number I just guessed. And there is a way to do a very fun way to do that in Python. You use there is a function which input. is input, and you can actually put a question here like um, give me a number from 1 to 10 is that okay yeah and then what this thing we do let's let's try it out let's try it out so let's save this and let's run here in the terminal there you go so we're gonna do Python and you're gonna run this with, it's called game. Oh, look at that. Give me a number one to 10. Seven. Press something there. Seven. Seven. Enter. And that's it. So we are not doing much at this point. We just, we chose a number and we, we have to guess one number. That's the number we chose. And now we have to give another number and see if they match, right? So how do you, how do you do that? Do you remember from your classes from coding? Do you remember what a condition is? Um. It's something like, oh, oh, if this is this is this is okay, I'm gonna do this. If it's not, I'm gonna do something else. Remember? Condition? If condition? Remember oh, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna do this. So if if what? What has to be the condition here? What is to be something has to be equal to something else? If you if a number, right? If a number equals what? Equals guest. Yep. If a number equals guest. And this is how you do it in Python. We're gonna do something. You're gonna say something, right? What are you gonna say? Give me a number between one to ten. No, no. If we we have we have done that, remember when it did, we did this? Yeah. We actually did that. We did this input number here. Give me a number from one to seven. You put seven here. Now I'm gonna compare the real number that I want to guess and the thing and, and the other number that I tried that I guessed so what do I write if I'm right if I'm right print and print is the function yeah that's right but what do I write on the screen if I'm right like you guess it right or something like that Well done, you guessed well it. Well done. Well done. You guessed it. 
you guessed it. And I put a smiley here. Is that right? Yep. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. So come back here. And I call my little. Give me a number one to ten. Don't, don't pretend you don't know that it's eight. Pretend you don't know that. It, oh, pretend you you don't know, but you put eight. Uh, you put eight. eight. What do you do? Oh, nothing happened. Why? Why? Did nothing happen? Nothing happened. Oh. Or didn't you press save? Oh, I didn't press save. Then you meant to save it. Maybe that's not it. Let's try again. Eight. Hmm, it is eight and we saved. Oh, I think I know the problem. What is so it? So, when you say variables in Python, you know, you see that here is a number. The thing is, when you use input, input doesn't, doesn't return a number. It returns a string. This is a string like this. So, do you know what you have to do? Yeah. If you have a string and you want a number, what do you do? You try to change it. Change it! Yes! So there is a f another function, a lot of functions in Python. It's mm -hmm. called int, which means integer. Oh, whatever I yeah, whatever I have here as the input will be converted as an integer. And there is an error. If there is an error, you say look. Mate, that's not a number. Sorry, I cannot convert that. So let's try it out. Let's try it out. Now. So yeah, go for it. Try to guess. Eight. Eight. Did oh, oh. I didn't save. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> try again. <laughs> and try. There you go. Eight. Yes. Well oh, done. You me. guessed it. Well done, so Wait. wow. Now, what if you do pretend you don't know it's eight? Because you're seeing that, right? D is eight. So pretend you don't know it's eight. Put another number. Let's see what happens. Oh. Enter four. Hmm. So it was not the right number. So nothing came up. Not so let's add, let's do something here then. Just Click, click the mouse here. Yep. So remember the condition. Remember the else condition. Else. If something yeah. is like this, I'll if, do something. If touches something. Yeah. Else. Yes. Whatever. Else, I'm gonna do. If it's not the right number, I'm gonna do another print as well, right? But what do I write here? If it's not right. Well. Nope, one, one, wrong nope. number. Nope, wrong number. And I'm add another smiley here. Yeah. Wrong and number. Save and save it. Well done. So it. let's let's tr let's try it again. So I put a different number in, like wait. What are you doing? Didn't click down here. Wait, wait. Go back here. You just change the code. Oh, no. Move it back. Move it back. Remove the extra line. Just remove the extra line. Backspace. One more. Save it. Save it. Save it. Control S. Control S. Yeah. Now run it. Now click down here. Yep. Row mm. up. Enter. Give me a number one to ten. Mm. Three. Enter. Nope. Wrong number. Wrong number. And you get three chances. Hmm. How do you do that for three chances then? Do you remember the while loop or the for loop? The loop. The loop. You're gonna do that for three times. Three times. So let's see how we can do this here. So this, what what do we have to loop three times? The whole thing. The whole thing, right? So this guy here has to while. You use while and we're gonna do that for three times, right? Yep. Um, if you're gonna do for three times, um, hmm, how can you do that? You, you count three times? 
Do you count? One, two, three. So let's put a counter. I'm just gonna count the number of times I'm going there. And one. counter has to be smaller or equals to three. Three! Exactly! So I'm gonna add so and if we do this, that's fine. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Save it. Control S. Control S. Save it. Run it. Yep. Add the game. Um, Give me a number one to ten. Try it. Five. Five. Enter. Nope. Nope. Wrong mm -hmm. number. Ah, oh, look at that. Give me another another time. So we want it three times. Let's see what happens. Three. Try three. No. Another number. Wait. Remember, it's eight, but don't don't put eight. Okay. Just to pretend we are only not guessing right. Oh, look at that! It's telling me a fourth time. What's happening? Oh, I guess we I are think counting. We have to save it. Uh, I think we have. Yeah, we have to add. So counter here, I think it's still one. Because we're not doing anything, we're just saying counter, counter, but we're not increasing counter. So let's do one thing then. If you say counter, there is a very fun way to say that. In Python, you do this. I'm saying counter. Plus Whatever in counter plus one, I'll make counter plus three plus one. Oh yeah. So counter here, you increase one at a time until it reaches three. Well, let's try it. Save. Save it. Cancel this one. Control C. Control C. Control C. Yep. Now arrow up. Up, enter, give me a number. Give me a number. Three. No. Um, no. Wrong nine. number. Nine. No. One. One. Enter. Nope. Yeah. And then it starts all over again. Yeah. So, yeah, we did three times. Now, do it with the right number. We know now that the number is eight. We're going to change that. But play yeah. it again. Play it again. Play it again. Now eight. Try eight. Try it. Try it. Eight. Yeah, you guess it. Well done. Two. You guess it. But look at that. It's calling me. It's calling again. Let's it's not right. Pause. Like. Yeah, we have to do some get. sort of pause there. Let's break it there. And there is a way to break out of the loop if you are right, and it's called guess. Break. Break. Yep, mm -hmm. it's called break. So let's try again. Save it. Is it safe? No. Save? No, I think it is. But try to save it again. Won't hurt. Go back then. Run it. Enter. Eight, eight, eight. Yes, it worked. And then it comes back again. Yep. Then you have to just call the program again and run it and play the game. And look at that. This is a Python program here. Line. Right. Now let's do one last thing. And this is actually working, but it's always the same number. number well, how do you make this a, a, a number that every single time I play the game, it changes? Mm. A number change. You change? Do you know what a random number is? Yeah, from scratch. Random. Random? Yeah. So it's something that happens, I don't know, sometimes it's one, sometimes another one. Right? So to do that in Python, we have to do one very interesting thing. That's we fun. have to import from a random. mortem from random. We're going to import this guy here. When? Which is called rand int. What is random int? It's a random number. Integer. Oh. 
and rent int I'm gonna say to rent int I'm gonna say I'm gonna uh, get a number randomly from 1 to 10 it's our game right yeah 1 to 10 so this guy here every time we run the program this guy here you give me a different a number from 1 to 10 if we 1 run. to 10 exactly so save it let's try it try 8 the first time okay let's try 8 if it's right or not 8 no, no. so no. it's not 8 anymore not 8 anymore try again mm. 4 yeah well done yeah. <laughs> you guessed it but it, it the computer the program picked a number randomly so By it can be anything ten. between 1 to 10 and that's pretty much it we just created our guess yeah. game so that's it we created today our guess game in python and thank you nicholas You're for welcome. helping out did you learn anything today yes uh, repeat while you break and lots of other stuff cool thank you thank you for that really cool so that's it so there was one more chapter of a uh, python clean coding dojo and thank you all for watching this and see you next time cheers see ya